But it was Piers Morgan saying, I, I want some of these. I want to move to Texas. I want guns. <laughs> After, because you know, they have full surveillance in that gun range uh, right. publicly for everybody's security, as they say. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we have high def of Piers Morgan. We, we have the whole thing. We have when I walk out and they go, we admit you have the highest ratings ever when you were on, but the higher ups don't want you on. We only That's use right. what I was allowed to shoot on my iPhone where he knew I was taping. But no, we have the high def of it. It's all back there on Rob Jacobson's computer uh, of uh, Piers Morgan showing the fact that he really wants guns and that he's nothing but a hired mercenary. He has armed guards at his house, guys. Yes, he lives was, in a gated uh, community. Gertz went there and exposed that he had the firearms, the armed security to respond to his home. Yeah, yeah. So he lives behind armored gates with armed security and has armed security. And, you know, that's fine. You know, when I've been at Charlie Sheen's house, he's got armed security. You know, the whole point is, is that don't take my guns away. You know, not everybody has the money to have armed security at their house, Shikari. Mm -hmm. That's right. I don't. I definitely don't. I sure don't. Yeah, so we're, at, we're actually uh, at the convention center now, Alex. It's a little light out here as far as the crowd. I'm a little surprised. We came out here a couple days ago for the Snowden deal, and there are many more people than what there are now. But it's still a decent crowd out well, here. Well, you got to find where the trendies are nesting. Uh, yes. Down off First Street, uh, up there by, uh, I don't know, Cesar Chavez, and mm -hmm. you know, right by 35 is normally crawling with trendies. Yes. Yeah, it's making the rounds here. Well, our crowd looks huge. How big is it now? Yeah, we have at least, what would you say, about 100 people at least, Josh? At least 100 people. Uh, most of them are armed. Hey, hey, how many, how many people do you think we got here, bro? Uh, you know, I didn't even try to count, but seeing it from back here, you, it, it sounds like you're on the right track there. It's yeah, this another man, another man concerned about his freedoms, about his personal liberty. Show, show us what you got here, bro. This is uh, my second uh, rifle that I've built, uh, full custom all the way. Literally a uh, at least a dozen brands that I put this thing together with. It's uh, you know, my, my own thing. That's the coolest thing about that. Totally untraceable. Is, it is fully yeah. customizable. You make it your own. Mine is one of a kind. Stuff here. Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, get everybody's take on Bloomberg now trying to restrict free speech on Facebook that's pro-gun. I mean, this guy is an absolute would-be despot. Yes, yes. Okay, let's move up here. Uh, trying to keep up with the crowd here. <laughs> All right. Position right there. Yeah, watch out. We got a lot of obstacles out here in the way as we move towards the crowd. Let's ask this. Excuse me, sir. Sir. What do you think about Mayor Bloomberg and his attacks on the not only the Second Amendment, but the First Amendment, trying to censor your gun speech on Facebook? My own words, he's an idiot. Yeah? He's an idiot. Anything more? Do you, would you like to elaborate on why he's an idiot? Well, you know, he's got all that money, and God only knows where all he got it, but he's using that money to try to take away people's freedoms, mm -hmm. which to me is just outright bizarre. Yes. Well, it's not bizarre. It's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty standard for people to want you to be disarmed and not have your free speech while they themselves enjoy those same things. Like we see Mayor Bloomberg, he has multiple bodyguards. And when he was approached by a journalist and the journalist asked him, sir, would you disarm your bodyguards? He said, uh, uh, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, I, I would like to see him disarm his bodyguards and then come back in and try to take everybody else's guns. The chances are somebody with a gun would be protecting his sorry backside. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Well said, Lord Vader. Yes. So we got some uh, some good patriots out here, Alex, some great people. We've talked to some nice people who are concerned about their rights. Sir, what do you think about all these guys with the guns? Come on, come in here. Both of you guys, come on. What do you think about these guys with the guns out here? Um, it's pretty dangerous. It's pretty dangerous? Yeah. Uh, why would you say that, sir? Um, why is it pretty dangerous? Uh, yes. No, I'm just being sarcastic. Do you, you feel how safe it is out here? No, I feel pretty safe. You feel you need to walk around with assault weapons? No, but you why, see, we why have, the government uh, have guns? people like this, uh, like this police officer here. He has a, a firearm. And, yeah, what do you think about He's this? a police officer. He's, he, his job is to serve and protect. Where are you from, sir, if you don't mind me asking? I'm from Austin. You're from Austin, Texas? He's a warrior ant. Okay, we are well, servant so ants. Would you like to see, you know, people not have firearms? What are you, what's your stance on the Second Amendment? My stance on the Second Amendment is um, I believe people should have firearms, but they don't need to be walking around with assault weapons. Hey, hey ask this ding-dong where he's really from. Now go back to the ding-dong. Ask that ding-dong where he's really from. Where are you originally okay. from, ding-dong? Uh, are you originally from Austin, Texas? No, I'm originally from uh, the East Coast, East New Coast? Jersey. New Jersey, okay. Oh, right, no, no wonder. Well, go. Hey, listen. Listen, you have the highest crime rates there because they restrict the guns, dumbass. All right, sir. Now, let me let me compare and contrast that, Alex. Okay, so I'm here with this gentleman. Sir, can we see your firearm? Okay. Does that now, scare sir, that little you, twit? Before I go to you, sir, you see this man with his firearm. What do you think about this man and his firearm? What do I think about him? Yeah. You know about him walking around with the firearm. I like to live under the mafia in New Jersey with a big fat uh, governor. I don't think
that, that this is a unsafe place. There's really no need to be walking around the streets with a firearm. Very Keep good. it in your house. Protect your home. You know. Yeah, you don't need to sit at the front of the bus in front of everybody. Is there well, first, I'd like to clarify this is not an assault rifle. It is Skip a semi-automatic rifle. Important. So that's one of the common misunderstandings that gets brought up in these conversations. I tend to disagree with my friend here. I think that even though the job of the police is to protect and serve, they can't be with you all the time. You should have the ability to protect yourself, your family. The courts have ruled the police have no responsibility well to protect you. Yourself from a tyrannical We're government. Take you to jail to face Amendment trial. Originally, you know, Intend intended for yes. Sir, do you have any comment to what he just said? The uh, tyrannical government. What's what's tyrannical? We're walking around here. Well, you have uh, the Austin Police Department that has arrested people for jaywalking when they fail to identify. You have uh, people being tased and bashed. Every up. authoritarian regime but, uh, takes the guns. Me? Hitler took the guns. This is, it's not encouraged. Tell him, it, Hitler took the guns. No, no, no. Took they, the they arrested a man. Excuse me. They arrested a young lady because she failed to identify. But you don't have to identify to a police officer if you're not under arrest. Hitler took the mistake, guns. Stalin took the guns. Tell him, Jakari. Government, do you make mistakes? Okay. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Let's talk about some more things. You say, you know, what's tyrannical about the government? You see uh, the surveillance measures. We have more than 40 cameras downtown that are filming you, you know, without your permission. Are you okay with that? I'm totally cool with it. Okay. So are you okay with uh, the Department of Homeland Security? You're concerned about this gentleman and his guns, but the Department of Homeland Security has bought over one billion bullets that they can't use. I'm not concerned about this gentleman and, and his gun. I just don't think that there's a need to be Bring up one. history to him, Jakari, about Hitler, Stalin. Okay, so when, when or, you hear the stories, rifle. right, so when you hear the stories about uh, disarmament, uh, excuse me, confiscation leading to disarmament, you know, there's a lot of talks about how they want you to register your weapons. I hear so, lots of stories. I don't know if they're true. Well, they, they are true. What's happening in Connecticut? Okay, so when you when you have registration Obama's that leads to confiscation, guns, Obama, have, have you seen? Have, okay, you, you brought up Obama. Let me ask you, bro. Let me ask you, bro. Guns, so okay. Still taking our guns? Okay, you saw him in the debates with Mitt Romney saying he wanted to ban assault rifles, even though these aren't assault rifles. You saw him in the debate say he wants to ban cheap handguns. You have people such as Miss Diane Feinstein who want to ban uh, things for cosmetic features. Come here, come here, sir. Can I take a look at you? If we can turn around and show this gentleman. Okay, now. Uh, in the state of New York, they say you can't have this gun because of the pistol grip, but if you change it to more of a more of a butt sock, then that's fine. So they're trying to ban guns for cosmetic features. They're not banning any guns. Yeah, yes, they are, sir. That's actually happening. You yes, see, you just yes, they are. Thirty guys. No, I'm, I'm talking about in New York. I'm talking about New York. We're not in New York. We're in Texas. Well, that's still a tyrannical. Bloomberg's gun. down here. For five years, Obama has supposedly been banning guns, and guess what? We're all still walking around with guns. Because we beat his legislation. That's because the uh, legislation failed, sir. Because we have the Constitution as well. The Constitution protects our right to walk around with firearms. And, you're and walking around with a firearm. And that's, you know, the tyrannical government thing. There were 300,000 people that, that overnight were made into criminals simply by possessing a certain type of firearm. New York is doing the same thing. New Jersey's doing the same Connecticut, thing. Connecticut, sir. Yes, Connecticut is the one I brought up. If we had a tyrannical government, we wouldn't sit, be sitting here talking to each other. They're trying to ban your free speech on Facebook. I'm walking around free. Nobody's banning anything. Uh, sir, okay, well, we got to catch up with the crowd. I, I we're respect freely you. Speaking. Yes, we right? are freely speaking. So who's banning? Who's banning? They're, they're trying to ban about Facebook. Boston, Michelle Obama. Dude, they're not going to ban the word boss. They're, well, that doesn't stop them from trying, sir. That's just making money off of web clicks, creating hysteria. Nobody's banning guns. Nobody's banning free speech. Nobody, oh. Dianne Feinstein, uh, Joe Biden. Nobody? No. Nope. My council City, uh, Austin City Council Member Mike Martinez, who said he may want, uh, wants to make the gun ban legitimate. That, that's not going to happen. Well, that doesn't stop them from trying. Well, you say they say there's no tyrannical government. There are people trying, even though they try and fail. It doesn't they stop them. They ban the guns in every that's city they control. Do you know what tyranny is? Are we free? Tyranny. We are free. We're sitting here talking, having a conversation. NSA spying. Jakari, this guy's an idiot. With a, with a rifle, you're free. People. Yes, sir. But we have we have NSA spying, sir. Is that is that not tyranny? Well, sir, no knock, no knock warrants where they kick in your door at three in the morning and shoot the wrong guy. They come to your house, shoot your dog. You know what? Okay. Large governments. Make mistakes. We have the largest prison mistake. population. Your dog, and that's the wrong house. It, is it a mistake when they come and ask him if Hitler country? made a mistake? Is it a mistake ask, when this guy comes? Ask him if that was a mistake. Is that a mistake? No, it's not a mistake. It's this guy wants to save your life. You Did know, Hitler make a mistake taking the guns? Did Hitler make the mistake taking the guns, sir? What's Hitler got to do with it's Stalin? And it's history, sir. Stalin, Mao. We're, we're in the United States. What's this got to do with Hitler? So the first gun laws see, were against black people after the Civil see, War. Other countries being repeated here, that has nothing to do with history. No, we're in the United UN States. UN Treaty. What happens in Germany has to do with what's happening here. We're walking around free. Well, you, you know, those, they say the people who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. 
So when you see, the reason I bring this up, you can see these things happen in other countries. And when those same things are attempted to happen here, like you said, many times they do fail. But when they're attempted to happen here, you say that has no relevance. They say lots of things. They say for five years, Obama's been taking our guns. You just saw 30 people walk by with us. That's because he, he tried and failed, sir. That's it's because not. we're beating him, dumbass. Excuse so me, folks. I apologize. The president has enough power to just go ahead and, and take guns. He off. obviously doesn't. That's I understand what you're He's saying. He's banning I'm, importation. You're creating his, hysteria about nothing. How are we creating hysteria? He wants to deny what's history. happening so he can take over. He doesn't. That, what, what is the assault nobody's, rifle, sir? Nobody's ever going to take those guns. There's 300. There's They're now confiscating sir, them in California, before. Connecticut, and New York. Okay, what are you talking about? This is Texas. You keep saying, okay, all right, you said don't bring up. No, 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 let me, let me, let's, let's take it all the way. We're not going to let the other states fall, punk. We're not in Germany, but when I talk about a city in the United States or a state in the United States, you say, what does that have to do with anything? What? Okay, let's talk about Austin, Texas. Okay. Austin City Council Member Mike Martinez said he wanted to make the gun ban legitimate. Mike Martinez is one individual. He, he's, uh, he's part of mayors against gun, gun illegal guns. Do lots of different things. That doesn't okay, mean that that's going to Okay, happen. so, all right, so here's, you. Here's the deal. Okay. There's. There are too many guns in this country for guns to ever be taken. So you guys can there you sit go. There and say, oh, they're going to take this and they're going to take that. And that's never going to happen. It's just, it's impossible. So basically, well, sir, 1776. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you. At Sunnyvale, California, they have banned, you know, they have banned high capacity magazines, you know, magazines that hold over Colorado. 10 in, Excellent. That's great. They probably should ban high capacity. But you're saying no by taking the guns, but they just, they're banning your, your, uh, your magazines. That's yeah. That is called making things safer. You know what? Uh, uh, okay, now you, you said nobody. You said nobody. I'm telling you, a city that's happening right now, Sunnyvale, California, and you're saying that it's not. It's, a, it's a good deal. Guns? Are they taking guns? They're moving towards it. And, and, and once again, one, once again, hold on, bro. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, bro. In uh, in New York, once again, we're going back to the cosmetic features. They ban guns based on cosmetic features. They say you have to turn in your gun, destroy it, or they can come and get it from you. Is that not confiscating guns? Are guns legal in New York? Yes, they are. Okay. Not all guns. No, 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 no. no, no they no. banned most no, of them. In New York City, they're banned. They're saying if you if you have a firearm with a cosmetic feature like the... Uh, the like goal the is to ban system. all the guns. You take a step to try to make things safer. How, okay. You, the, the immediate assumption... No, 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 no. No, no, we're not safer when you take our guns, you're safe, jackass. You're not by safer by changing a cosmetic feature. It's oh. like you're saying if you had yeah, a... No, let me, let me, let me tell you about cosmetic feature. Okay, all right. I agree with you. All right, sir. That's just we, we've had a very colorful conversation. So i got to catch up with my crew. I thank right, you man. for being man, man enough to talk to us. Appreciate you, bro. All right. Hey, Jakari, so let me say something about that guy. He is the classic... No, no. So, finish up, Jakari. Go ahead. I was saying uh, I disagree with uh, almost everything that man just said, but I respect him for staying sure, here sure. and debating with us. Well, uh, I've said a lot of friendly things as well. But the point is, Jakari, is that that's the here. classic denial of a fake liberal. Is that is that they always deny all this stuff's happening, but then admit they still want to make us safe by restricting yes, the guns. You, you heard the guy. He's like, well, what what does Nazi Germany have to do with it? I'll say, okay, what about in Connecticut? What about in New York, where they're doing these bans, where you have to either turn in your rifle, uh, destroy your rifle, or they can come and take it from you? He's like, well, that's New York. I was like, well, okay, let's talk about Austin, Texas, where Austin City Council Member Mike Martinez said he wants to make the gun ban legitimate. Well, that's one person. So every time we bring up the argument, he has some counter argument to uh, to diminish this and talking about Obama. Uh, you know, Obama said in the debates, as I told the gentleman, that he wants to take away AK-47s, he wants to take away things, cheap handguns, and he also hid behind Dianne Feinstein and said he would roll with anything Feinstein said she wanted to do. So and essentially, he is, a, if not uh, supporting the government, he's at least content to let Dianne Feinstein take your Sure, Jakari, let me ask you this question. It looks like from who we've talked to, almost everybody's pro-gun down there except that guy. How many yeah. people have, I mean, what's the percentage of people you've talked to that are anti- I, That is the first guy I met who was blatantly anti-gun. We met some people who were indifferent one way or the other, but that was the first guy I met who was just blatantly anti-gun, but I do respect him for standing here and debating with us. Sure, but it was, it, it, his denial was disgusting, though. Yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty amazing, Alex, and now I think we've actually lost our crowd. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll try to catch up to these guys here in a little bit. Absolutely. We got the feed up there right, with, with Leanne McAdoo. Um, and uh, there she is. Uh, Leanne McAdoo, give us your take on what's going on. Well, it's pretty surprising. Most people, obviously, a lot of people stopping to take pictures, a lot of people trying to find out what we're doing here. But most people are pretty impressed and they're like, wow, welcome to Texas. And it's like, this is actually nationwide. Well, Le Leanne, I think what's happening is that mic, that external mic, is not activated. So we're going to go to break, let you guys work on getting that external mic activated. Okay. And then we're going to uh, come back on the other side briefly with you guys and uh, then get some uh, other important news covered here that we've not gotten to yet that's been breaking 
up at places like Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Folks, Bloomberg is going nationwide trying to restrict, register, and ban most guns. Their open goal is the abolition of guns. They are training the police as an internal illegal army to take our guns. We have to force a debate about this to show that it's illegitimate and criminal to stop it. They want to grow their plan in the dark. We're, We're not going to let them do it. The